And we are live once again here in the Stop Motion Cup Series at Chicagoland Speedway. Another new track here for the series. This is our first intermediate one and a half mile length track of the season. And it also just so happens to be the end of the first round in this season. That's right, after this race, so some of our drivers, 12 in fact, will be eliminated and currently John Hunter Nemechek is the first one out with Todd Gilliland just one point above him. With most of those drivers within only around somewhere between 6 to 10 points from elimination. Everyone more or less still has a chance and here are your ones to watch for today's race. Kyle Busch is your pole sitter and he's only two points above the cut line. Multiple drivers being the 5, 6, and 23 cars are all below the cut line when they really shouldn't be. Carson Hosefar had a really good race over in uh, New Hampshire, and he's currently above the cut line. And currently just above the cut line is Todd Gilliland, but he was also really good in practice, so watch out for him to do well today as well. As here's your starting lineup for today's race. In row number one, we have Tyler Reddick and Kyle Busch. Row number two has Ty Gibbs and Eric Jones. Row 3 has Denny Hamlin and Bubba Wallace. Row number 4 has William Byron and Noah Gregson. Row 5 has Kyle Larson and Chase Briscoe. Row number 6 has Chase Elliott and Ricky Spenhouse Jr. Row 7 has Wa Ross Watermelon Chastain and Martin Truex Jr. Row number 8 has AJ Allmendinger, The Dinger, and Brad Keselowski. Row number 9 is Todd Gillen and Josh Berry. Row 10 is Ryan Blaney and Christopher Bell. Row 11 is Joey Logano and Bowman the Showman. Row 12 has Corey LaJoy and Harrison Burton. Row 13 has Zane Smith and Chris Buescher. Row 14 has Austin Sendrick and Michael McDowell. 15 has Carson Osovar and Austin Dillon. Row number 16 has Brody Kostecki and Daniel Suarez. Row 17 has Daniel Hemrick and John Hunter Nemechek. Row 18 has Kaz Grala and Ryan Priest. Row 19 has Jimmy Johnson and Justin Haley. And rounding out the back in row 20 is SVG. All right, here are your keys to today's race. There are only 12 laps in today's race, while there are 39 drivers all looking for a win today. It's our first intermediate race of the season, and it's the final race of this round. So we see Chase Briscoe will be going to the rear of the field. Some major names going to have to catch up in points, including Bubba Wallace, who you just saw on screen. Pace car is on pit road, and we are green here at Chicagoland. As it looks like coming here out of turn four, and we Tyler Reddick clearing Kyle Busch for the lead. Not the start Kyle Busch wanted, but a great start for Reddick on that outside line. Looks like he might have a really good car here today. Speaking of good cars, here comes Bubba Wallace now, challenging for second place around Busch and Gibbs. He has the position. Has he has cleared Busch? Has not cleared Gibbs? Now he's cleared both of them. Teammates in, in the top two here with the 45 and 23. Wallace trying to make a move. Good arrow block though on the part of Reddick. As we come here to lap four, now they're going to be side by side going turns one and two. Wallace looks to have the best car here so far early in the race. We see William Byron now making a move up to fourth. Still side by side coming to the white line here. As now Bubba Wallace has the lead and is recorded as the leader of that lap. He now has Reddick cleared, going into turns 3 and 4 once again. But now Reddick's going to pull a move on the inside. Another side by side once again here just about the halfway point of this race. Still side by side going on the back stretch. And we have a spin on the front stretch. Oof! Big hit to the wall on the, on the outside there going to turn 1 for Austin Dillon. Caution is out. Looks like John Hunter Niemicek was caught up as well as we can confirm that now. He's going to need some replays of the incident. We need to see what happened there. 
as it looks like Nemechek actually spun Austin Dillon. It's very interesting. It looks like Dillon tried to correct it and then just overcorrected it back into traffic. Impressive no one else got caught up in that and a little bit of karma, if you will, there for the 42 of Nemechek. Unfortunate for those two guys, as they both will probably not be advancing to the next round, regardless of if they can continue. And we can confirm now that Austin Dillon will not be able to continue in this race, while John Hunter Nemechek will, albeit a lap down. So unless something absolutely unexpected happens, both of them will not be making the next round. Here are your mid-race updates. Daniel Suarez has moved up 8 spots, AJ Allmendinger has lost 7 spots, and the 2311 teammates have led every lap thus far. Will they be able to continue it? They have the front row locked up. If we have a choose rule violation, oof, the 54 of Ty Gibbs. Probably not going to eliminate him, but certainly not what he wanted to see as he'll not have to start at the back for this restart. As we see now, once again, Austin Dillon in the garage. We are on board with Redek to get the green flag here on lap 8. Five to go. It looks like Reddick's going to try to clear while it's going down the backstretch. He will do so, but now Byron's challenging for second. The teammate Dominus might be being questioned here as Byron tries to make a move. He's got position on Wallace now. He's trying to make a challenge for the lead here with Reddick. He now is, has the inside line. Reddick still has his preferred line on the outside, but will it be enough? Currently no, as it looks like Byron has been scored to lead that lap. Three to go here at Chicagoland. He now clears. Big move to the inside by Reddick. Nice preferred line though. He's loose! He saves it! Somehow Reddick saves it. Although he's going to lose two spots there to Elliott and Wallace. Two to go here at Chicago and William Byron still holds a commanding lead over his teammate and Bubba Wallace. As it looks like now though, Wallace is going to make a move to the inside. Here on the last lap down the back stretch. Wallace to the outside. He makes the move. Does he have him at the line? Yes! Bubba Wallace wins at Chicagoland. What an absolutely wonderful move on his part. As he manages to, while not completely sweep all the laps for, for his team here, they still manage to get the win. So you see the replay here at the final lap. Made some big gains on... Uh, uh, on Elliott and Byron, both down the front stretch there to start the lap. He had just enough momentum to get to the outside there of Byron, and with his 20th, him and Reddick having that preferred line on the outside, seemingly most of the race worked out well for him. Chase Elliott, Tyler Reddick, and Brad Gislowski will round out your top five today. Some more notable finishes. Todd Gilliland finished in 10th. Good race for him. Noah Gregson in 11th. Might not be enough to get him above the cut line, but we shall see. Last week's winner, Alex Bowman, finished 21st. And out of this race, the only DNF, Austin Dillon in 39th. Now to see who advances out of this round. Our two winners, Bowen and Wallace, obviously have it locked up. Looks like Elliott got the most points in this round. Good for him. We see these nine drivers here are also guaranteed to uh, make it out of this round. And it's now time to see who gets eliminated. Kyle Larson! Oh my goodness. Kyle Larson. Surprise elimination here in the first round. So you see a bunch of other drivers, though these are at least names you'd expect to see. All the way down to Harrison Burton. Only two points in this round. The top 24 in points will start round two with either zero points or some denomination of equal points each. I haven't quite figured out that yet. However, that does not matter yet. What does matter is that Bubba Wallace is your winner here at Chicagoland. I hope you enjoyed today's race. For some reason, I feel like I said Kansas at least once in this broadcast. Hopefully not, though. Hope that didn't confuse any of you with that. Anyways, if you enjoyed today's race, I hope you will like and consider subscribing. Have a great day, everyone, and come back soon.